Hello again, everyone. Welcome to my next tone demonstration and playthrough slash guitar tutorial for the song Holy Spirit in the key of D. Now, before we get started here, I just want to give a shout out to my buddy Nick at Basset Hound Sound. He loaned me this beautiful guitar that I'm holding here to use for this video and this recording. So I hope you enjoy that. I certainly am. And check out their website. Uh, if you have any kind of audio reinforcement or consulting needs, please give Basset Hound Sound a consideration in that regard. Now, for this song, for the first verse section that's going on in the background here, I like to just lay out and play nothing and allow the acoustic instruments and synthesizer to start building the mood of the song and drawing people in. Now if you have a different mix of musicians on your team, you might play a little bit here, but in my case there's enough musicians involved that I can just lay out until the first chorus comes. Now. So that was the playthrough and tone demonstration with the backing track for the song Holy Spirit in the Key of D. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun making it. Now I'll show off some of the patch features without the backing track so you can kind of hear what it sounds like alone and the kind of things that are in here. When I come in, in the first chorus, you heard I was using a sound that very much sounded like feedback. 
Now, I learned how to do this feedback simulation from Chad Boston, so I definitely encourage you to check out Chad Boston's patches and his Facebook group and things like that so that you can also learn about this feedback simulator. It's not using his patch or his settings, but I definitely got the idea from him and learned how to do it by observing what he did. So check that stuff out for sure. Now the feedback simulator works with the expression pedal. So you put it on the snapshot that is for feedback simulation. And basically the way I have it set up is when the pedal is fully up, so the, the heel is down and the toe is up, the volume is completely off and there's no feedback simulation. And the more you push forward the pedal, the louder it'll get and the more feedback it'll sound like it has. So what I'm doing on each one of these notes is picking the note and then sweeping the volume pedal forward to enhance the way it sounds. It's a very expressive way to play and it sounds great, especially in a live setting where you have other musicians in the mix and things like that. This is what that sounds like in isolation. So you can hear it has a very rich sound. Uh, I will say this, it is a very noisy sound, so you have to be really super careful with your muting of all the other strings, and you have to make sure you hit those notes precisely without any extra noise from other parts of the guitar or your other hands. So as long as you play with precision and keep it going, you should be able to get a good pure sound similar to what I have here while I'm playing it on my recording. Uh, but if you get a little bit extra noise, don't worry about it. Just work on your technique until you get there. You'll be able to do it for sure. The next snapshot I want to talk about is just named Core on the Helix there because it's the core sound that all the other snapshots are built off of. So this sound is what I used during verse 2 and chorus 2 of the playthrough. And it was originally developed with the Black Ibanez universe that's currently hanging on the wall behind me here. But I'm going to show off what it sounds like in comparison between the Telecaster and the Ibanez. So hopefully you can hear a good difference between the two guitars. You hear that each of the guitars brings their own quality to the table and their own sonic character, but I think both of them sound great with the preset. Now, between using the two guitars, the only thing that I tweaked on the preset on the Helix itself was to lower the level of the noise gate, because this guitar has single coil pickups, they're lower output, and the noise gate was choking the signal a little bit. So if you use this preset or any of my presets and you find that you're not getting enough sustain or the sound seems somewhat choked out, then make sure you visit the level of the noise gate on the input block and lower that or raise it to whatever is appropriate for your instrument. The third and the fourth snapshots that I will show off for you are for the solo section. Primarily the solo section only needs one sound, but the other snapshot for the solo is just what creates that alien note that happens at the end of each of the two solo sections. So I'll play through the solo preset for you here, and you'll hear when I get to the very last note, I kick on a different snapshot which creates that infinite sound that it has. So check this out.
So what I was doing there with my hand is just showing you the volume pedal position because as that continues to ring out, you will want to fade it out. The reason you need to fade it out is because it's infinite. It just goes forever. I'm going to roll the volume pedal back in here and you'll hear it's still going. So that sound will just go on forever and ever. Now, the way you can hear it there and the way you heard it in the playthrough is I'm playing it with a quarter note pulse to it. But by adjusting the modulation effect that is part of that alien note, you can control whether that pulse will be an eighth note or a quarter note or a triplet or a half note, whatever it is that works in your context. On the original recording, it sounds like they're using more of an eighth note pulse but I found that when I use this live with the team that I serve on, the, the quarter note pulse just sounds better than the eighth note pulse. But adjust it to taste for whatever will work in your situation. So there you have it. That is my playthrough and tone demonstration for Holy Spirit. I hope you have enjoyed it. I had a great time making it. Thank you everyone for all the encouragement that you've offered me for all these videos that I'm doing, and I hope to see everyone in the next one.